Sabrina, on me behind the stage. We're going to exclude you from this song. Many nations, many nations, we know that you have to leave, but you've requested to sing a duck and dive for the singing song. You have this opportunity, and we're calling upon... traditional September Labor Day weekend been an interesting and good summer um, where we are right now is the hunting grounds of the Tudelo uh, shown to me by Ernie General earlier in the summertime uh, this is near Oxbow Road off Cox Cockshut Road uh, borderlining Brantford so these are all the traditional hunting grounds we're sort of at the dead end road right now and uh, yeah, so this is all the traditional hunting grounds. I'm gonna drive them by myself. It's September um, 2nd, 2007, and I'll show traditional hunting grounds and then also where the village was. So, just to show people in the corner of Oxbow Lane and Oxbow Road, Top Shepherd's back there, and this was all the hunting grounds. Going through. were adopted into six nations in the 1700s. They were adopted under the Cayuga and had a village site which we will go to, I will go to, to show. And this was their traditional hunting grounds, a stone throw, maybe a kilometer away from their traditional village site. Um, so this is all still woods and road. But all this was their hunting grounds. Um, Chief Arnie General was kind enough to take me out earlier in the summertime to show me this. Not much is being done, to my knowledge, to preserve any of this. So, um, for whatever reason, I'm keeping my own record and hopefully this can be shared maybe one day with others. So, this road continues on for a while and as told to me, this was all still traditional hunting ground. On both sides of the road and through here. This is all still lots of farms. Um, this would have been really wooded and uh, um, within, I guess, this is my own knowledge here, six miles on either side of the Grand, they would have had their uh, settlement within that. The, some two little ways are still known um, and will be done through the Cayuga Longhouse. But even today, there's about two or three people, according to Arnie General, who uh, have knowledge of the songs and whatnot. So, do what we can be done to preserve this as well. But this is all still traditional hunting land. Um, coming up to a road, it'll have a dead end uh, with a farm at the end of it. But this gives you an idea of how big their land was.
looks a lot like South Side as well. This is all traditional land. Um, there's a farm in here. This is also still not traditional land. We're gonna go in. Really nice in here. It gives you an idea of what it used to be like. back out on the same road. Uh, the two low here at Six Nations uh, is a stronghold of information, but even like all things are fading fast. So time is of the essence to talk to people, to get knowledge of these songs, the spirit adoption ceremony and other things um, as well. Um, earlier on this tape is the Nottaway powwow. Uh, you can see some of the people there in that tape were to the horse pony, uh, Linda Carter being the lady with the dark dress and the long hair. Um, dark blue dress is doing an awful lot to record things. She lives in Mecklenburg County, the traditional area of the Tulu. And I'm doing what I can up here. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna record again when we get to the site. Everybody knows this road for um, Graham Bell. I was under Graham Bell, the telephone guy, but yeah, it's pretty important. Um, Jimmy and others, the Tulo, uh, settled down around here on this video. Also, want to state ultimate respect to everybody and all ancestors as I approach. And I'm going to turn this off in a sec. Um, anyways, I just thought the village was on the right hand side. I'm getting heavy. I'm um, going to be approaching the village site up on the right. So where this corn is, um, I was told the village was in through here. And um, if you see those trees further down, um, that's where everything and some burials were. I'm going to turn this off now. Um, getting that heavy feeling. I will uh, in a few minutes turn this back. First off, I have to say no disrespect. I feel a little body grounding, but somebody's got to do this. Um, I'm at the edge of the field, which is around that corner, borderlining um, part of the, the trail uh, that goes by the Grand River. It's been told Arnie was, uh, Chief Arnie General is here, someone that uh, said that there are burials. There's a village site here, uh, as well as burials. He was here with that person, and they felt burials pretty much right where 
through this area. Um, I feel things like I'm pretty much shutting off right now, so um, because I'm gonna film this as quickly as possible and carry on. Um, and I've given due respect as well before filming this to state for the fact. So right in through here. Um, I walked with Arnie, um, lots of bramble bushes, and it's thought that right in through here, in fact, I know in through here burials, um, and down the path, this is part of the path that I came in on, um, so the burials would be over here, the village site over here, um, and again, due respect. Heading down the path. My throat closed up earlier and my head hurt. And my arm, when my arm starts hurting, that means something for me. So, um, but I, I didn't get a bad vibe earlier though. Um, I'm not sure where this goes. Bank. This is very pretty. Uh, I was just hit like a wall, like from right there to right here. Totally different. Getting into the village and other stuff. Can you move it? I think I filmed a lot. The um, village side is beyond the um, spot. Beautiful forest with trees. Um, and uh, that's all behind this area. Uh, farmer's field. And just for recording's sake, I left some earth from the fort as well as Virginia. Um, not Ukunichi Island, but from um, the traditional settling area of the Tubo. You can still see the perimeter of the Tubo here as well today. Um, what can I say? Self uh, closure is one word for me personally, but that's another thing uh, altogether. But uh, I'm not going to continue filming. I just want to say due respect to everybody. The story continues, but. Uh, Honor to been part of this. Tila, Shana, Marilyn, you won't be forgotten. And as we go into the future, 2007 and into the future with our own personal lives, yet very much in the past. Honor.